This is an old iron mine outside the town of Marmora in Ontario, Canada. While the mine itself is fenced off, there is a public area that you're allowed to walk around with lots of interesting rock. The collecting here is still pretty good because most people don't know what to look for. So here's the secret. Look for rocks that have white calcite and perhaps show a little bit of crystal and then later dissolve the calcite to expose the full bank of crystal. Shelby, come on. And here are my rocks that I gathered. What I was looking for is something that had calcite and perhaps some crystals on the outside, which would give an indication of what's on the inside. This looks to me to be epidote, and the black looks like black garnets. This, I'm not sure what we're dealing with. But we'll stick it in acid and see whether or not it improves. <laughs> There's moss on it still. This little one, iron stain down the end, and one exposed black garnet. We'll see what happens to it. Nothing showing on this one. Probably not the right rock to pick up. I'll put that in if there's still room. Same with that one. And then this one looks to me to be epidote, which is the green. Let's see if it doesn't hide any crystals in here. And we're full. That's a plastic container. The acid will not affect it. What we're trying to do with the acid is remove unwanted minerals that are affected by the acid and leave behind minerals that are unaffected. Add some clean water. Hydrochloric, AKA muriatic acid. The bubbling is the dissolving of the minerals affected by the muriatic acid. It should leave behind any minerals that are unaffected. And I'm hoping those minerals will have crystals in them. See in a bit. Okay, it's starting to slow down and it's starting to get dark. The acid is getting weaker, so I'll leave it in overnight. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. It has basically stopped bubbling, which means the acid is either neutralized or it's done finding any affected minerals that it might attack. Let's take a look at these rocks. All right, this one turned out okay. It didn't have much to etch off, mind you. But you can really see the crystals now. This one, it shows the epidote. Tried to go crystally.
Ooh, look at the bug in there. This one had a garnet on it somewhere, like right there. Huh. I feel a snap. <laughs> nope, still solid. Here's the long one. The green is epidote. I had thought the black was garnet. Not so sure now. Kind of a fun sample now. Now this one. Little crystallies. The calcite left over. You have to tell me if you think you like it. I do like to see what's inside. Oops. Well, thank you so much for watching. We'll do it again soon. Bye for now.